Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out the Clock Tower Free Room for Lego Harry Potter years one through four. Now we do get a bonus trophy achievement back in time for using the old time turner. Uh, but more importantly, uh, we're kind of taking uh, a step over uh, to the free roam so that we can get a 2x red brick multiplier. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and guide you through it right now. Uh, start off by going into Hogwarts. And it's going to be hard for us to know where you are if you've done any exploring or anything like that. But we're going to do our best to kind of guide you through and show you the main areas um, that we used. And basically, you're going to want to navigate to the big fountain area or the clock tower entrance. And uh, you can see the big old clock thingy me baby hanging in the background, swinging in the swinging. Now off on the right-hand side, you'll see a treasure chest. And right behind that treasure chest, you'll see that green lock. Basically, we need to uh, roll up and destroy this, uh, well, whatever it is, baddie. Uh, we put some shoes on a spider in this case. Uh, there was a Dementor there at first. But uh, either way, we're going to go ahead and destroy him and move into the area by using the key. So now we are actually inside the clock tower. And first things first, there are a couple of treasure chests on either side of these big purple, I don't know, pedestals, I guess. And uh, we get a clock from each of those. And we're going to go ahead and stack those appropriately based on color. Now we've got all of them in the right spots. And now you can see there's a red brick just flashing away, waiting to be picked up. We're going to go ahead and stop both of these staircases by blasting both of the pixies on either side with Immobilize. And then we'll go ahead and use Wingardium Leviosa to pick up this red box. And we're going to move it on up to the owl side. And he's going to go ahead and kick down. And basically, this unlocks. This doesn't give us the red brick, but it unlocks, as you can see right there. And then it tells us we have to go to the Owl Emporium and Diagon Alley to purchase the bonus. All right, next, we want to note it's important to interact with this painting first and, and actually get that purple cogwheel before interacting with the serpent on the left-hand side. There was a known glitch, and we're not sure it affects people or not anymore, but do not interact with this serpent before taking out that painting. So uh, if you follow the video like we showed you here, you should be fine, and there should be no problems. But I guess there's been a lot of people that report that if they mess with the serpent first, that the gold brick will not fall from the ceiling. So it's important that you uh, do that to the right. I guess uh, I, I, apparently it prevents people from getting 100%. So hopefully that doesn't happen to you or didn't. Now on the left-hand side where the serpent took off, uh, you're going to go ahead and blast its tail. And it's going to give us the first of three character tokens. So woo to the hoo. And uh, we'll add that. We'll go ahead and purchase that guy here in a wee bit too. Uh, another purchase that happens in Diagon Alley. But this one is not in the, in the owl spot. All right. More importantly, on the right-hand side of the room, you might notice this big old grandfather clock. You're going to have to switch to Hermione and use the time turner. Simply walk up to it and hit the icon indicated, and it will take you to another time. And Booyaka Show! We also get the gonna go back in time. Da -da -da -tr trophy slash achievement. All right, enough singing. Uh, we also pick up the milkman, which uh, that's kind of scary. Hermione and the milkman. I've heard stories before, and that probably won't end well. So we'll move along from that one and uh, get our blast on. Now, this was a little tricky for me, and to be completely honest with you, um, I was fooled. And I, I knew that I had to jump on this, but for some reason, the characters would not jump on it for me. So uh, basically, here's the key. As the main character you want to go up the stairs with, go stand by the stairs. Your other character will notice that and actually jump up on it. So you might have to help them, but, uh, you know, as you can see there, as soon as we walked up with Harry, it, uh, it worked out for us. So now there are a couple of pieces that you're going to find on this back left painting over here. Uh, you're going to build them up into one of the clock arms in the back. So, yeah, we are in the clock tower, so it makes sense that we're building up a clock, right? And uh, over on the right-hand side, we're going to get the rest of the pieces. You can see we blasted that gold, or the silver chain off the, the bookcase there. And now in the back, there's a couple of green tentacles. And uh, we're going to scare them away with Luma Solum. And he, uh, the tentacles go away, but it drops like a gargoyle head, I guess it is. So we're going to go ahead and place that on the body with Wingardium Leviosa. He gets all crazy and pulls the chains out. And uh, he's off the chains, you know what I'm saying? And uh, once he does that, it gives access to our characters to get up here. And now we can switch to Hermione and use the bookcase that we freed with uh, Reducto on the right. 
And follow the pattern as indicated. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. And look at that. Bam! Some more bouncy bits that we can build up and finish the clock. Now take note too, there also is a character token that is revealed too. We're going to go ahead and finish the clock tower. And uh, once we do that, these guys come out and uh, touch, touch. Uh, well, I guess they scare each other. I never mind. I'm going to say that. Look like a high five. Touch, touch for the fives. But... Um, here we go, we got a gold brick, Booyaka Shao! So that is the second gold brick in the clock tower, which is the second and final one. And then we'll go ahead and clean up the character token on the right, Madame Rosmerta. Luis esta muerta! Ah, that's funny, that's, it's a total inside joke and has nothing to do with this, but uh, Mark, if you're listening, ho 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 ho. All right, now, in order to get out of the time turner area, you have to leave by walking through the door and because uh, the clock isn't there, there may be another way to get out of it, but that's how I got out of it. You saw the light went bright, and then we came right back in, and now we're going to free the student in peril, which will actually complete the room here. So, da -da -da -da! yay, turn that frown upside down, and get out of here, you silly clown. All right, now he's out. We're going to do a quick fade back to, you can simply use the start button and quit uh, and return to... The Leaky Cauldron, and then you can actually take a left and head out into Diagon Alley. Make your way down to the Owl Emporium and go up the stairs and then find the red brick that says score times two. Now, there are some other ones in here that uh, don't cost a lot of money, but I got to be honest, I would save your money right now. So uh, go ahead, and once you purchase it, you're going to want to hit the start button and make your way to the extras and, uh, and find the red brick and turn it on. So now every stud you get will be multiplied by two. All right, so we're going to run all the way back, and we actually set this up for the next video here. We run, and we actually are targeted and ready to take on the first free play level, which there's the access to free play right here. We can see by all those nice action Polaroids up there, and that fades to the final screen. So, oh, to the yeah, that's going to wrap up Lego Harry Potter years one through four, uh, the Clock Tower Free Room. And uh, we also not only got the uh, red brick, but we got a few other items too so all right that's it we're ready for free play uh if you guys enjoyed this head on over to facebook twitter comment vote subscribe down below we also have an instagram a g plus and a twitch page as well as happythumbsgaming.com the home of our product and gaming reviews and trophy achievement guide so hey stop by check us out let us know what you think of our website if it's terrible let us know in a nice way uh and if you like some of the stuff we got going on over there let us know maybe we'll add more of it we've kind of been uh, letting that hit the back burner lately and uh, we can change that if you guys nestle. So, O oh, to the A, as always, until next time. Everybody goes back in time. See ya.